Hey, Tom here from The Run Testers with another monthly roundup. This month, we're a little bit lean on the ground at the moment because everyone's quite busy. Uh, so it's just me and Kieran holding the fort with our picks this month. Um, so let's dive in and see what we both picked. So for monthly picks, I'm back with yet another anti-chafe solution. I've long been a fan of the Two Tom Sport Shield as a brilliant barrier against the dreaded friction burns. And a couple of weeks back, I discovered this Sport Shield Extra that brings more waterproofing, so it won't wash off in the rain or if you get really sweaty, if you sweat heavily. But it also contains some extra things like aloe green tea extract and shea butter for a bit of a helping hand at softening and soothing your delicate bits, those bits that naturally get a bit rubbed. It's also got calendula and horsetail plant extracts to boost and the antimicrobial powers to stop it being stinky, help with the hygiene. It rolls on really easy. You can use it on thighs, underarms, feet, all the bits where chafing could be a problem. And it's, yeah, it's absolute magic. I rely on it a lot. This is uh, something that I would highly, highly recommend. Yeah, 15.99 in the UK, and uh, but what price to have a friction-free run? Now next up, we're still sort of battling, getting a bit of summer here, and I'm a big fan of Tifosi's keenly priced sunglasses. And if, like me, your glasses take a beating or often go walkabout, then I think Tifosi hit the sweet spot of offering good quality at a price that you won't cry over too much if you lose them or break them. Now I love the Tifosi Swick, but these CKFC 2.0 are also great. Now I've been using the gloss black model and at 23 grams they're incredibly light i like the big wide nose bridge as well i've got a big weird busted nose and i struggle to find sunglasses that kind of sit right on this conch but these are um shall we say a bit more accommodating for the larger gnarly nosed runner there's also added soft grip detailing and textured grip to the ear pads too and these get more grippy when you sweat and get wet and i find with overall with a lightness and that grip this means they stay well put when you're running, even when you get really sweaty. They're shatterproof and scratch resistant as well, polycarbonate lenses. I'm pretty careless when it comes to shades and these are still looking good after many runs. They provide 100% UVA and UVB protection. The lens options include smoke with mirror, brown, polarized and live and golf. How are all these bad boys? And they're a good multi-sport option too. <music> So my first pick this month is a pair of socks. It is the Brav running socks. Now I haven't used Brav socks before. I've been wanting to try them for a while because I know some of the other guys have tried them. Um, and I really like them. They're just a solid pair of running socks with loads of great designs. So if you're the sort of person that likes to spend money on some nice, exciting colorways and designs in your socks, Brav has got loads of them. Uh, the other thing I like about the Brav socks is some of the running socks that I have do tend to be quite thin. Um, so because I test a lot of shoes, the thin ones don't often work with all my shoes when I need a little bit more padding in them. Brav socks are, they're a bit thicker than what I found with a lot of running socks or some of my running socks. Um, and they feel quite nice with a lot of shoes. So if you've got a pair of shoes, maybe a pair of race shoes that's probably a bit restrictive um, and you probably don't want to wear really uh, thin socks with them because they might rub, these are a bit thicker. So they add a little bit more protection um, for the feet. Um, they all they cost twelve pounds um, across the board, which is nice. It's not the cheapest pair of socks in the world, but it's not that expensive either. When you look at the cost of some of the socks that are coming out at the moment, that are upwards of sixteen, seventeen pounds, um, and all of the designs are, are that price on the website. So you can just pick and choose which one, ones you want. You don't have to choose a cheaper option that isn't necessarily the one that you really want. Um, so yeah, solid pair of uh, socks, some nice designs. This is like a chili snake one. And this, then there's like a watermelon version I've got here as well, which goes nicely with a couple of my ready pink shoes as well. Um, so yeah, Brav running socks, big fan. My next pick this month is part of my quest to test all of the different hydration tablets you can get out there. These are the SIS Hydro tablets. Now these are um, salt tablets uh, to replenish your salt stores or uh, pre-fill up your um, electrolytes before you go for a long run. Uh, and they also contain a load of B vitamins as well. Uh, they come in at eight pounds for a pack of 20. Um, it's quite hard to compare all the different tablets, but one of the main things is taste. Uh, and I really like the taste of these. What I found with these is that they, you can put one in a 500 milliliter uh, bottle of water and they still taste quite strong. Sometimes when I've tried these tablets out with, from different brands, you put them in a lot of water and you can't really taste them very much. Some people might like that. Some people might want to limit the uh, the flavor that they get from um, the hydration that they're using because it might be a bit too much out on the run. I like 
to have a nice strong taste when I'm out the run because I get thirsty and I don't like just water. Uh, and these taste really nice. This is the lemon flavor, but they come in lots of other flavors on the website as well, like berry, uh, and this is like a Coke caffeine version or cola caffeine version. Um, and yeah, I'm really enjoying these. You can also get um, hydration from SIS in powder form in the big tubs. Uh, and I think you can get hydration as within the energy gels as well. So um, uh, salt in those energy gels, which you can use for your um, electrolytes. So yeah, enjoying these. Um, and uh, yeah, they're just solid um, hydration tablet. My next pick this month is one I really like, but it's a bit of a pricey one. It's the uh, Stolt Alpha Backpack. Now Stolt is a fancy um, brand which makes lots of different sorts of carrying um, kit, which you can use for things like cycling and running. This is a commuter backpack. Uh, it's probably the biggest one I think that uh, Stolt does. Um, but the, the idea behind it is that it's it's meant to be a bit of a hybrid between a commuter pack and just a really nice bag. So if you saw this bag um, and you didn't know it was a commuter backpack, you'd probably just think it was a really nice backpack for work. It is designed pretty sleekly. Uh, it doesn't look like it's a sporty pack or anything like that. So it works really well if you maybe have a job where you want to have a nice bag um, that doesn't look like a sports backpack. It doesn't skimp on features as well. So although it's a nice looking pack, um, it's actually got loads of really nice features in it for for commuting it's quite a big bag um so there are smaller versions or sm smaller bags that you can get from them which might be better for some people if you don't want something massive but this one holds a laptop up to 16 inches which is pretty big um it you can fit loads of stuff in this you can fit shoes gym kit all those sorts of things all the work things you'd um pack lunch loads of stuff it's it's really quite big um the main compartment uh, is um for like shoes and things like that but it also has lots of other compartments as well so the front compartment of this is if you if you don't open it and don't put anything in it it doesn't really affect the size of the the bag but it's expandable so if you want to put loads of stuff in there like your gym kit and stuff it will expand and there's a separate zip inside so that it can get bigger and you can still close it um other things it has on it as well so the shoulder straps the waist strap um, and there's a chest strap that goes on it. So there's lots of straps to keep it really comfortable. It's easy to lock down, so you get a nice, nice solid fit, even if it's got a lot of stuff in it. Um, but you can pop these shoulder straps inside the bag. So then it becomes more like um, a briefcase, which you can use for work. So you don't have to have all these straps hanging out all the time, which can look a bit messy and a bit annoying if you're putting it down on trains and stuff like that, because it will they'll hang out. Um, there's other storage options in there as well. So there's smaller pockets, so you can put things like your pens and papers and things like that in there. Um, but overall, it's just a really solid, nice backpack. I've been using this not just as a commuter backpack. I use it for work anyway, just because I think it's really nice. It's probably the nicest backpack I've got. So definitely the one I go for if I want to, to take it into the office. Uh, and you also get some um, really nice zips on the waist belt which is useful. They're just big enough to hold your keys, some cards, um, things like that, so that if you quickly need to get hold of your keys or whatever, or your Oyster card, then you can pull it out and just use it. You don't have to take the bag off and then try and find it in, in the front pocket or anything like that. So that's a nice feature that I like about it as well. Also has antibacterial fabric in it, so it won't smell if you get sweaty. It's quite a big bag. Uh, it does have a breathable mesh on the back of the, um, the well where your back goes on the bag what i would say is that it's quite a big bag so even though it does have that it can get a bit sweaty if it's hot out or if you're doing a really long run keep that in consideration um there are smaller bags which are probably better if you're doing a lot of running and you're um you, you don't want to get a sweaty back but if you if you're carrying a lot of stuff and you need something to do that with this is a great option um it's very secure. I have not had any bounce on it at all. And the way that the bag's designed means that you can really get rid of any excess weight or space in the bag so that you've not got things jumping around quite a lot. This comes in at £149, so it's quite expensive, but it's good quality for what you get. Um, there's an, You can also pay £198 and you'll get the commuter set, which also comes with a... It's like a... a, a box that goes inside the main compartment um, and the idea behind that is that you can put in things like your shirts and stuff like that if you're running to the office and you you dress smart at work 
you can put everything in there and it won't get scrunched up in the bag or affected by everything else in the bag and you also get a, a rain cover for it a high vis thing so that you can cover it if you're maybe cycling you need some uh, extra protection maybe from the rain or you want to be seen out on the ride so um, that's a little bit more expensive but maybe worth it if that's the sort of work you do and you need to take um, extra protection for some of your nicer clothes uh, when you get into work my final pick this month are a pair of sunglasses. Now, I'm pushing things a bit with these because these are Sun God sunglasses, but they're not actually running sunglasses. So let me know that before I go through them. But I do use them for running. One of the things I don't really like about running sunglasses is that a lot of them look like running sunglasses. I don't really like to walk around the streets in running sunglasses when you really know they're running sunglasses because I just like having a nice pair of sunglasses that I can use for lots of different things. Sometimes I'll use my um, Gooders uh, or some of the other Sun Gods for that. Um, but these are really nice looking sunglasses. Like they're the best looking sunglasses I've got. So I tend to wear them for running anyway, because I might be running somewhere, running to the pub or something like that. And then I want to have a nice pair of sunglasses that don't look like a pair of running sunglasses. So these are the Sun God Tockers. Uh, they come in at uh, 70 pounds for the cheapest option. And that's with the standard 4KO frames. And that's with the standard 4K lenses. You can also pay extra for the 8K lenses, which is what these are. And that just means you get a little bit, um, they're a little bit more durable, the lenses, a little bit better quality, uh, but doesn't massively affect the, the, the visibility or anything like that. You can also pay even more to have polarized lenses in them. Uh, and the polarized lenses will mean that you have better visibility when you're on the sea or when it's raining or anything like that. And they also do a prescription version of these as well. Um, so yeah, I've been, I use these all the time. They're just my standard go-to sunglasses. If I go on holiday, I take these with me. It might not be running, they're just nice sunglasses. But I have found that they work perfectly well for running and I've used them for races as, and, and stuff as well where I'm going to be out all day afterwards uh, and I want a nice pair of sunglasses. So um, if you're looking for a specific pair of running sunglasses, maybe these aren't the best ones for you. But if you're like me and you are you just want a good pair of sunglasses that will do the job for out on the run, these are absolutely fine. And uh, I really like them as well. I'm assuming Sun God probably because they're so used to making these performance glasses that these these do work in a similar way so um yeah solid nice looking pair of sunglasses the uh, sun god tockers so that's it from me and kieran this month on the monthly roundup thanks a lot for watching don't forget to like subscribe click the little bell and all those things and if you haven't listened to the podcast yet or you have forgotten that we do a podcast if you go into the caption below you can find a link to the most recent podcast that we've done uh, and they come out at the end of each month so something to listen to when you're out on the run thanks a lot for watching Catch you next time.